Pulse it. Here we go. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a pentagonal prism. Once it has been cut, we have been instructed to make its development. Okay. Here we go. Let me just read the problem for you. A right pentagonal prism, edge of the base is 30, axis length is 75. Are you able to visualize this? Let me help you. Resting on its base on HP. So this is the pentagonal prism. If you look carefully, it is resting on its base on this HP horizontal plane. Here it is. How does the base look like? So it is a pentagonal prism. Therefore, the base has to be pentagonal in shape. So all of these sides are 30 millimeters each. And if you if you just zoom out slightly and let me go to the front view, this height over here has been given as 75 millimeters. Another very important fact. How is it resting? Resting on HP. Okay. Now it is cut by a section plane inclined at 45 degree to the HP and meeting the axis at a distance of 18 mm from the top end. In most of the problems that we have done so far, the location of the cutting plane uh, is usually given with respect to the bottom most part. However, in this problem, the location of the cutting plane has been given with respect to the top most end. How much below? So it is 18 millimeters below the top end. Okay. So keep that in mind. You just need to make the development of the outer surface. Uh, sectional top view has not been asked. So we are not going to get into that. Okay. We will just stick to making the front and top view and we'll simply create its development. Now, here in this question, nowhere it has been mentioned that uh, yes, it has been kept on HP, but nowhere it has been mentioned how the base is with respect to the vertical plane whether the base or one base edge is parallel to vp or one base edge is perpendicular to vp so you've got both the options you can start any option with any option of your choice okay and as you can see here let me just go to the top view the base edge has been kept parallel to this xy line it looks like an XY line, but there is this vertical plane when you look at it from the top. Okay. Similarly, in this case, one bottom edge has been kept perpendicular to the vertical plane. You can also say, sir, this one rectangular face is perpendicular to VP. And with respect to this particular orientation, you can say that one rectangular face, this rectangular face, let's say, is parallel to VP. So whichever way it is asked. Uh, if it is asked in terms of rectangular face or base edge, you should be able to work it out. Okay. Now, let me straight away move to the presentation. Watch. Two cases. As I just discussed, base parallel to VP. Here it is. Base perpendicular to VP. Here, the base is parallel to VP. And here, the base is perpendicular to okay I, I just want all of you to appreciate the fact how the development of a solid changes if you change the orientation and this is the best way and we I'm going to be running the animation simultaneously okay so that you can have uh, uh, the best perspective on this so far so good how much is this angle sir so this is equal to 108 degrees 108 degrees. I hope, I sincerely hope that you'll be able to make this pentagon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let me make the projector lines. Okay. What is the height, sir? The length of the axis of the or the height of the prism is 75. Let's draw this. If you watch carefully, one, one dash, two, two dash, three, three dash, four, four dash, five, five. In the same fashion, one, two. If you look at this arrangement from over here to just behind to there is point one, one dash two dash. Okay, that's why I have written them together. Now, let me introduce a cutting plane, and I know very well that the cutting plane is at 18 mm from the top end. So that's the top end of the axis, top end of the axis. By the way, this center has to be located. How do you do that? Make a line through three. Okay which just touches on the midpoint of a 1, 5. In the same fashion, draw a line through 4, which just touches the midpoint of 1, 2. 
the intersection of both these lines will give you the center of the pentagon right so from this very point you have to go downwards by a distance of 18 millimeters and make a point this is the point i expect all of you to mark done okay now keep your drafter at an angle of 45 degrees and keep it over here and make this kind of line this is your cutting plane the portion of the cutting plane inside the solid it is thin whereas the portion outside is thick okay <clears throat> so uh, so far we've introduced the cutting plane also if you watch there is only one uh, and one more thing uh, if possible try to pinch on your screen hmm? when i'm explaining this pinch when i'm explaining this pinch by when i say pinch it will zoom in okay if you're watching this on youtube it will automatically zoom in so let me zoom in instead watch there is only one coating point since there is only one edge one vertical edge okay so that happens to be one dash similarly there is only one vertical edge over here and hence one cutting point however if you watch carefully for this very point at this very location i have made two points which essentially translates to two cutting points why the reason being very simple number one it is cutting at the top and if you draw a line through this very point it is going to intersect the top post pentagon over here and then over here don't worry we are going to get to that in a short while in the same fashion since there are two cutting there are two edges over here exactly overlapping each other hence there are going to be two cutting points the same case here as well here here not this one but here okay this is the point c dash and d dash c dash is along the vertical edge 3 whereas d dash is along this vertical edge 5 are we good to go okay now if i draw a line through this e dash e1 dash you will realize that the topmost pentagon at the topmost pentagon there are going to be two cutting points okay one is e while the other is e1 i think uh, right now let's focus on this d dash d1 dash let me draw a line this way d d1 between 3 4 that is d between 4 5 we've got point d1 just produce a line through this e dash e1 dash so between 3 and 4 you've got point e and between 4 and 5 you've got point e1 <clears throat> time to make the development what do you do sir uh, you first of all create a rectangle of that sort what are the dimensions look pentagon has five rectangular faces each face is having this width of 30 30 30 30 30 30 how many faces five faces so 30 cross 5 is equal to 150 so this has got to be 150 and this obviously is going to be 75 the same dimensions will apply here as well it's the same object done now you have to divide this into five equal parts how do you do that take an arc from one to two with this as center cut an arc with this as center cut an arc keep on doing so unless uh, uh i mean you have five divisions <clears throat> okay so you can see five rectangular faces done now what now these are the cutting points and through all of these cutting points you have got to make this horizontal lines now Let's locate all of these points. For example, A dash happens to be just above 1 dash. So, this particular location you will have A, A, just above 1, A, A. Similarly, this point B dash is above 2. So, above 2, you've got point B. And here, B dash is above 2 dash. So, it's here. Thirdly, if you further want to go if you watch three point C point C hmm? if you want I can certainly zoom in three this is the location of point three just above three you've got at the side you've got C dash so you can see right in this fashion all the cutting points which 
or above the vertical edges can be located very easily. However, the problem is the problem is with the points which are at the top. So for these points, they have to be shifted to the true length. Okay, that's how you got D and D1. So now with now with let me just uh, explain this to you. Three D as radius with this topmost point as center, cut an arc that is point D. In the same fashion with this four D one as radius and with four as center, cut an arc again. This is going to be point D one. So this D one is between four and five between four and five. Okay, that's how you mark it. Uh, in the same fashion, you can see from now take an arc from four to E with four as center and towards three towards three cut an arc in the same fashion cut an arc again that is for E1 okay take this arc right so that's done join all the points through proper lines this is what you have and the final development should look something like this pause for a moment look at the figure the portion which is remaining the portion which is has been cut off Try to understand this. Have a look. Portion of the solid below the cutting plane. Darken it. These are the edges which are going to be visible. Okay. So I have used dark thick lines and they reflect in my development also. The same goes here. Here, these three edges are visible. Portion falling above the cutting plane. Well, I have kept them light, right? So this is how the final drawing should look like. Okay, so guys, that was all from my side. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. You can also mail it to me. Uh, my email ID is minus two seven eight seven at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you for watching and to download my application for uh, enrolling in my courses. Right. Take care.